Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Apfelstadt and I am extremely proud to be helping curate a series for Hinshaw that features Canadian composers. Although I've spent most of my professional career in the United States, I am a proud Canadian and I've maintained many connections there. Canada has a rich choral tradition that is honoured north of the border, but not always so well known in the States. When I taught here, I made it a point always to program Canadian music as often as I could. And then when I went back to the University of Toronto to teach, I had the privilege of working with a lot of composers, both established and emerging. So the pieces in this series represent a variety of Canadian composers who will write for various voicings and difficulty levels. I envision that most of the music in it will fit the high school community chorus environment, certainly some for university as well. The music here is not only by Canadian composers, but in particular, it honors the texts with very expressive writing. I grew up in the province of Nova Scotia on the East Coast, and I started in choir when I was five. I was just so excited as a child by the stories that the music told. It wasn't just the songs and the pieces we learned, but it was the stories in them that really captured my imagination. So as I began to be more familiar with choral music um, as a singer and then eventually as a conductor, I found myself always attracted to music where the text setting was a, a prime consideration. And the wedding of the text and the music was a kind of a perfect marriage. The first pieces in this series all embody that. Matthew Emery is a very well-known young Canadian composer who's published with multiple companies. He's known internationally. He often chooses texts by poets from a century or so ago, although in this case, the piece that we've picked is by uh, one of my former students who wrote a wonderful poem that we decided would be a lovely piece to set for Exultate Chamber Singers in Toronto. Mary Alice Conrad is a composer from Alberta. She writes really striking music. I have heard this sung by professional choirs. I've conducted it myself at the university level. And it's really um, wonderfully imaginative music. E.K. Hamill has a piece in our series that uses a text by L.M. Montgomery. And if you know anything about the Anne of Green Gables series, you know who that poet or author, I should say, is. Take a look. We have not only these pieces, but we've got several more in progress. Um, several are for treble voices as well. It's really such a delight to be discovering this music and helping bring it to light through Hinshaw. I'm so grateful for everybody there who saw the importance in this and is bringing the series to reality. Check it out. I really hope you like what you see and that you'll bring it to life with your own choirs.